Welcome, 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 welcome. Roll up. Next couple weeks, okay? The rest of December. December, December. All right. Let's do, let's do my Aries. Let's do my Ramskis. I know, um... I definitely have a crowd of Ramskis where it's been rough. I can feel it. Loss of jobs, certain connections, more, more other things than love, though. Um, so that will get better. They're they're trying to put you on a path for those that I'm channeling. Okay. Um, so just try to stay positive in that situation. Okay. Aries, Aries, rest of December. Some of you definitely have to fight for something, so I don't know if that's just standing your ground, standing strong in your belief system might really help you Okay, get through right now. Bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Earth. Where's my glasses? Um, you know, it's a, it's a flow of abundance. Something promising that's going to come your way. We got the wheel right underneath that, which is great. Okay. It's two Aces, too. Well, I mean, it's ones. Okay. Um, it's a positive change to any situation. So for those going through any type of situation ship right now, okay. Definitely looks like there's change coming. Um, you got the chariot. All right. So that's going quick. You also have an awakening here. Okay. Look at things in a different perspective. It's a temporary standstill. It's important to be by yourself. Some of you just need to just have that moment um you got the six of water so we got a soulmate here we got the six of air so we got two sixes too okay two sixes two aces um seven and three is ten so it's another ace three aces and two sixes so i don't know if you guys are seeing the 111 a lot and the double sixes okay um but this is you're having memories of something um some of you might have children right now, too. Um, something's going on. Some of you are just romanticizing about the past and not being able to move forward. What this is saying is that you're at the end of a difficult situation. You are going to be able to move forward, so believe that you can. Especially that, especially with it being amplified, okay? Um, spiritual meaning of 6-6. Six, six. She said it's, that's not the one I'm looking for. It brought me straight to the Bible. So some of you are, um, some of you are, um, no matter what Bible it is, you're, you're strong when it comes to the Bible and the, and the beliefs, biblical beliefs. Um, cause it, it's so ironic that it's just bringing me these, um, it's not even, it's so weird that it's not even giving me my norm. Okay. It talks about love coming in with certain relationships too, letting the old, releasing the old. It's things happening for you and your family. Anyone who's dear to you, okay? It's social connections, friends. It's, it's, it's happy energy coming toward you, which is great because... I kind of felt some of the, the stalemate, but that's not going to last long. And for those that are seeing the ones, the one, 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 it just remains what it's just saying, whatever it is you've been manifesting is about to come into fruition and it's about your life purpose. And we, we talked about that too, with, you know, loss of job or, or something like that. But, um, ultimately it's, it's what this is saying is nothing's more important than me, myself, my family, my friends, and everyone's happiness all the way around. Okay. So you're kind of being hit hard right now, but it's okay. Cause you're going through 
It honestly is. It's just, it's honestly, it's a, please remember, it's a temporary standstill. Okay. It truly is. Um, some of you are about to get publicly recognized too for something. That is for sure. Because whatever's happening, <clears throat> it's only a matter of time. And sometimes it can take a couple months. For some of you, it will take a couple months, depending on what the past is. But things are going to start unfolding. Okay. Um, it, it's a, it's, and it can be very sudden. Okay, so it just depends on what category you, you guys stand in right now. But you do have, you know, you're definitely reminiscing about either a loved one, uh, something that didn't work out, or, chi or children. But this is a, a spiritual awakening right now. It's, it's putting you on your path. So it's probably bringing a lot of things to your attention that you honestly don't want to deal with. Um, but if you put your time and effort into whatever this is and, and healing, things are going to move forward. Okay. Going out my Aries. For those that are in that situation, you do have a new stop coming. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Like things are definitely looking up with the six of air. You're getting on that boat. You're moving, you know, like the stagnicity is leaving. It's, it's, and it's for a lot of you, it's a new job. Okay. A new place too, an employment home. You pulled the five of cups, so yeah, it's it's having a hard time letting go of of what this is, but just release it, do it. You know, you you had an awakening. You you kind of know. All right, um, it's just it's temporary. It's temporary, my babies. It's temporary. So you're holding on. It hold on. You're holding on to sorrow. Gotta let it go. Okay. Look at here's that abundance. But you gotta stop. You gotta stop holding off. You gotta stop holding on to the sorrow. Okay. You're holding on to time too. What this is telling me, it's only a matter of time before this abundance comes. It's only a matter of time before this new stat. Um because it's it's here. Please remember that it, it's here. Clear as day. A lot of it's financial for you guys, for those who are dealing with the financial situation right now, but it's going to get better, okay? Um, it's just a matter of time. So look at things differently too, okay? Whatever you're going through, you're going through for a reason and to teach it some type of lesson. Even if it wasn't on you, it's still on you to take something out of whatever situation this is. So I hope you can understand that because um, things are about to... Things are about to look up with this new stat. And it might be a slow process getting it off the ground, but it will come in enough to shift your energy so you have a more positive outlook if that helps, if I can break it down that way for you. Okay, because that with the chariot being here too and the wheel, like woo-wee, okay? So you got the three of pence. Like I said, it's that new contract they were talking about too. It's the but it's the eight of swords too. You don't know which way to go. But this is this is you restricting yourself. You're restricting your own happiness right now. Even if it wasn't your fault, say you lost a job and it's not your fault. Inside you feel like it is. Inside you feel like you're being restricted. You're saying, Why is this happening? Especially before the holidays. It, it's that energy. But you're only restricting yourself because you're not looking at it in a positive way. And I mean, I get it. Because when I've been in situations like that, how do you? It is so hard. But this is where that faith, this belief kicks in. And you got that. A lot of you guys turn to the Bible. Continue to turn to the Bible. They're sending you synchronicities through numbers. It's clear as day that they're sending you messages. So just continue, okay? So... <clears throat> It's the five. It's the five of air. You're battling yourself. Happy, sad, happy, sad. Some days you're happy, some days you're sad. But you're about to look at something in a new in a new way. You're doing it to yourself with the the swords. You know what I'm saying? It's like. It's gonna be okay. These dragonflies. Some of you are seeing dragonflies, feathers, medallions. Some of you are wearing like um, certain saints around your neck right now. 
And if they feel like extra powerful or it feels itchy, it's just the energy being transmitted through the metal. Apparently somebody was worried about that. Um, we got the Six of Cups under there too. Back to that past. Yeah, the Six of Cups there too. So you're restricting yourself by staying. For those who are in an, uh, a not so good situation, you're restricting yourself from moving forward. I suggest you release. To me, it's it's more these are more thoughts than anything else. Because that main message they're screaming at me, they sit side by side. But in order for it to come in, you got to have the faith. Some of you guys are great, okay? And you, you're you out of this stage and things. So for those who are in this sticky situation, it looks great. You got yourself out of it and you're about to go towards something new. You're already dedicating your time on a different thought, creating something new, giving time on something else versus the time that was wasted from the, whatever the past scenario is because some of you are you're in your happy for sure okay and for those who aren't it's only a matter of time tell me about abundance because this is this is coming in some of you are just waiting okay some of you are just lagging by a couple weeks it's not long before this catches up it's the ace of wands see i told you with the ace of earth and the ace of wands coming in you're good but you got to change your, your thought pattern right now in order for that to happen. And it was just 1144. And I think that talks about spiritual meaning of 1144. Talks about a new solid foundation too. Yeah, see a brand new beginning in your life. If you are single, it can mean a new romance for you too. So like a new soulmate stepping into your life. But go after what your heart desires. So let go of whatever it is you're holding on to. You know, it's saying life for you can be simple sometimes. It's, it's the little things that make you happy. But you got to find it within yourself. So you got to change the way you're thinking. See what I'm saying? So this really is a positive reading, okay? Because it, it's, it's all going to start coming together now. You're going to get out of this energy and step into brand new happy energy, abundant energy, something that you're going to want to put your time into. The universe is going to make sure it's a good thing for you. A majority of you, it's work. You do have a new love coming in. For some, it's, it's it, it, it truly is brand new and it's going to be a soulmate and it can be great. But until you get out of your head, it's, it's going to take a little longer. They are working with you, but it will take a little longer. So if you start to initiate it along with them, it's going to go a lot quicker, a lot smoother. Okay? It's a temporary standstill. And for others that are just getting out of the temporary standstill, all this other stuff's going to start coming in. Keep the faith. Keep the courage. Get out of the thought process. A majority of you, it's the thoughts right now that's holding you back. When's it coming? When's it not coming? Why am I still holding on? Why? Because you're still thinking about it and asking why. Let it go. You got something brand new coming at you. All right. This awakening, it really is a good thing. Although it, it's making you feel like it's not. It truly is. It truly, truly is. Um, and I, I think this person coming from your past, if it happens to be somebody you know, it's childhood, it's high school, it's college. It's not your last girlfriend, your last boyfriend. It's something new because you're getting out of the situation you were just in to move forward. You had an awakening, you had insight. So now it's just getting out of your situation. Uh, you know, an old boyfriend, girlfriend, an old job, anything like that. Stepping forward, they're putting you on your path, your purpose. Okay. So it really truly is a beautiful read. You are truly coming out of this energy, which is sensational. And that's exactly what I wanted to see. Um, so I wish you guys the best. This I love it, you guys. Keep pushing, keep pushing through this energy. Okay. Um, let me just pull you one of these real quick. Overall message. Just push through this energy. You have help from the divine. Okay. Um, if you're gonna pray to anybody right now, the ones that really got you. Uh, well, they all got you, but you know, it's Archangel Metatron and Archangel Gabriel. Okay. Um, we have the Empress here. Stop getting creative. 
All right. And then you have the habit. All right. So get out of your old habits and start creating something brand new is the bottom line. Let go of the old habits and, and, and the old dependencies, anything like that, that tied you down. Step out of the battle and create something new. Now is your opportunity. It's here. I love you guys. Bye.